When I first got into K-Beauty, Skin Food was the brand. I could spend hours browsing their products and their adorable packaging. Skin Food is really known for their masks. They have scrubs, wash-off masks, as well as sheet masks, and they're really famous for these types of products. So give this video a big thumbs up and let's find out are Skin Food masks really worth it beyond the adorable packaging. So the first mask that I want to talk about is from their Fresh Made line, and this is the Watermelon Mask. Now this is a wash-up type mask, and this features Korean watermelon. This mask claims to soothe and hydrate the skin. So first things first, this mask smells amazing. No joke, just like Watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It smells so good. The consistency on this is very thin. It's like a gel type consistency and it's very lightweight and cooling on the skin. It spreads in a thin layer very easily. This is also a really quick mask. This dries down in about 10 minutes. When I use this mask, my skin definitely feels a lot smoother and a lot softer and I do notice that it looks a little bit brighter. This also has helped to decrease the redness on my face just a little bit. Now I have to be honest with you, the main claim of this mask is soothing and hydrating hydrating and for me and my dehydrated skin it really wasn't soothing and hydrating enough. You know this one just definitely didn't have a lot of moisture for my skin type and that's why I think that this mask is really best for oily skin types. People who don't need a lot of nourishing moisture I think this is going to be best for oily skin types. I also think that this mask is going to be best for hot weather because this has a really nice cooling effect on the skin and it's actually even more cooling when you store it in the refrigerator. So the next mask that I want to talk about is part of the Black Sugar line and that is the Black Sugar Honey Mask. Now this is a wash off type mask that features organic black sugar as well as honey. Now this smells exactly like you'd expect it to smell. It smells just like real honey. It does have a little hint of lemon that I can detect in the smell, but this is pure honey smell. Now the texture of this mask is thick and it is sticky. It does spread across the face really well and there are little sugar granules inside of this mask. Now what I love about this mask is how customizable it is. You know, you can spread the mask onto your face and you don't have to use the sugar to exfoliate your face if you don't want to. What I normally do is spread it all over my face and then I concentrate just a little bit of scrubbing action on my nose area and I actually avoid scrubbing any part of my skin that is more sensitive like my cheeks. So this is really customizable, you know, you don't have to exfoliate your whole face or at all if you don't want to with this mask. Now this mask takes about 10 to 15 minutes to do which is great it's perfect for a morning mask or a really quick routine now this wash off mask makes my skin feel so smooth and so soft you know it has a really nourishing and comforting feel to it it really moisturizes and protects the skin when I use this mask I notice that any kind of like inflamed pimples that I have do seem to decrease in size and this definitely helps with redness and with irritation this is going to be perfect for all skin types but I definitely will recommend it for dry skin skin types as well as dehydrated skin types. This is also going to be a great option for sensitive skin types because of the customization with the physical exfoliation. Next I want to talk about their Beauty in a Food sheet mask line. Now these sheet masks are made out of a thick cotton and they are well drenched in essence. I have to admit though these masks don't fit as well as I would like them to. They're very uh, long in the kind of the jaw area so it's really hard to get a good fit on the chin and because it is a thick cotton material, trying to create folds in it to get it to stick down is a little difficult. Now the first mask variety that I want to talk about is their ginseng mask. Now ginseng is an excellent ingredient for anti-aging. It contains a lot of antioxidants and it's great for healthy glowing skin. Now this essence is a thin and watery type essence. Again, the mask is really well drenched and the essence does sink into the skin very nicely without any sticky or tacky feeling afterwards. Now if you're not a fan of the smell of ginseng, you know, that kind of medicinal sort of like earthy smell, that hangbang or hangbang smell, this mask is definitely not for you. 
It's not a super overwhelming smell, but it definitely has a ginseng smell and it does last through the whole mask. Now, I did notice that this mask did help to reduce redness immediately. And the next morning when I woke up, I did notice that my pimples, my inflamed pimples did seem to be in decreased in size. So this definitely helped with pimples. My skin did look brighter and it did feel a little bit more hydrated. But I did notice when I was wearing the mask that I was feeling sort of like a tingling sensation. It wasn't quite burning, but it was kind of like the beginning stages of burning. This was a really similar feel to how some sheet masks with alcohol in it feel. So I actually thought there might be alcohol in the ingredients list. There is no alcohol in this mask. However, there is added fragrance. And I think that that is what irritated my skin was the added fragrance. I will also let you know that I did wake up the next morning, even though my pimples were decreased my skin did seem a lot oilier than usual for the morning and I'm gonna chalk that up to the irritation I received from the added fragrance in the mask the next variety that I want to talk about is the bird's nest sheet mask now bird's nest is a great ingredient for moisturizing dry skin and it really can help you strengthen your moisture barrier the essence to this mask is a milky essence but it's not a thick and heavy milky essence it's not creamy I would say it's more on the lightweight water milky side. Now this one really didn't have a scent that I could detect to it even though there is fragrance included on the ingredients list of this mask as well. Now my skin felt so soothed and nourished using this mask and it felt very deeply moisturized. When I took the mask off I noticed immediately that the redness on my face had decreased as well as inflamed pimples on my face were about shrunk about halfway in size which was an amazing immediate result. My skin felt very comfortable there was no irritation with this mask. There is added fragrance in this mask, even though I couldn't really smell anything on this mask. There is fragrance included in the ingredients list, but I experienced no irritation from this mask. And the next morning when I woke up, I didn't have any extra oil on my face at all. So I definitely think skin food masks are worth it beyond just the cute packaging, and they're gonna be a really solid addition to anybody's routine. If you guys like reviews just like this one, or you wanna follow my daily skincare adventures, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I document my whole entire skincare journey there daily. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and then you'll never miss the next time I upload a new video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Happy masking!